Yes, I'm coming. So, all day, every day, I'm here with Nigeria's best uh, Kenyan international, Oga Obina. How should I say? Kenyan best Nigerian international. Whichever it is, he's in the building. He traveled all the way. Oga Obina, what up, my brother? Wow, Poto. Yeah. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling funky. Deto, deto. Ah, my friend, today, yeah. fire. Fire. <laughs> How many hours have you spent in Uganda? Uh, because I landed at... Uh, like five, four or five hours. How is it? How has it been? It's okay. Have you performed here before? No, it's my first time in Uganda. I've oh, never been in Uganda. I've never been uh, the comedy store. It's the first time. Wow, good to have you. What do you expect? I expect uh, a good audience, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like every other comic. Yeah. But they expect fire because I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready, my friend. What do you think about comedy yeah. store? I'm sure you got, you've seen comedy store yes, online. I've seen a lot of uh, comedy store on YouTube yeah. and also on your Instagram. I stalk oh, yeah. you a lot. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. you have a lot of comics here that are amazing. Yeah, yeah. But most of them speak in Luganda, so I don't understand. So I just say, then you wait for the thing. Ah, I'm laughing because everybody's laughing. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not getting it. Yeah. But comedy store is like the store for comedy. Yeah. That's where I had to come. You know when, when I called you, I was like, bro, yeah. please put me on the lineup. <laughs> That's how we do that all the time. Hey, 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 Wam Poto is your chairman, your guy, the top of being the only man who's been arrested for dressing to kill. I'm the only man who can look at a woman who's pregnant, representing Comedy Store Uganda. This is a home, this is a store for comedy. Don't turn that down. Because if you do, see your life. So ladies and gentlemen, with a big round of applause, Allow me welcome for the first time the one and only Oga Obina. I'm saying, don't play that song now. They will say they were shouting free Bobby Wine. And then the police decided to free bullets. And then, <laughs> if you are inside here and you know that you paid for the ticket to enter inside here with your money, by a show of hands, put your hands down. <laughs> Okay, put your hand up if you know you paid for your ticket. You did not ask for complimentary. You paid for your own money. Hand up. If you are putting your hand up and you know that you have no idea who bought for you the ticket and you are a single lady, may you never get married in Jesus' name. Put your hand up. If you know there's somebody next to you they did not pay a ticket to come here today, tell them, see you are lying. Is it everybody? The slay queens, where are the slay queens? They are here. Have you guys been given a Wi-Fi password? <laughs> How now? I told Alex this is a big day. Okay, if you are here and you are on social media, please use the uh, password, the passkey. If you check, 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 check. The, there's Wi-Fi today, Alex Mohanji is the name. The password is BYOB. BYOB, that is buy your own bundles. <laughs> yeah. Hip hop is a culture that is known worldwide and it has its own rules. Hip hop as a culture dictates when you're a hip hop artist, when you dress up, you have to look as close as a slave as possible. Put every chain on your neck. That is why they call each other dog. What up, dog? Hip hop dictates when you're standing, you have to lean back. The COG has to drop. They call it swear. In the hip hop world, you have to have swear. Then your face for hip hop, if it's this one, your face, this one has to go up, you have swear. <laughs> then the words that come out of your mouth in the hip hop world has to be little. You cannot be having this face and this swear, then you're there like, uh, 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 uh. You have to have terrible words. Damn, mother dude. <laughs> Hip hop as a culture dictates when you're walking. This leg should never pass this one at any given point. You pull it, you drop it. You pull it, you drop it. It's called swear. What up, dog? You're like, ooh. <laughs> Like in the United States, these people believe in hip hop culture to the bone. That is why if you go to the United States, this artist have something they call beef. I'm beefing with you. I'm going to do it and do it. You know, they have beef. They're not talking with each other. One year, two years, they have beef. In Kenya, they have beef in the morning, by lunchtime, they have eaten it already. It is bad. In the States, they have something they call drive-by shooting. In hip hop, somebody come with a car, 
they remove the window that pop up and first kid can go. In Kenya, when you try that, you cannot manage. You come, window that pop up a corner jam. <laughs> you know, there are some women, when God was creating them, God was sipping palm wine. <laughs> On a Sunday, when they say God was resting, God was relaxing, creating this madam. God was taking his time. God was having a conversation with the madam. He's like, my daughter, which type of skin color you want? I want a glowing one. Mba. <laughs> God was calm. My daughter, which type of milk storage you want? I want obvious one. Mba. <laughs> My daughter, which type of history do you want? I want a big one. Mba. Now when they're walking, they're walking like, like they're feeling pain. Hey, <laughs> na dollar o. A hundred dollar. Okay. Is there any other person who's feeling like copying the imitation? <laughs> Ladies are the only people that go around and say, mm, you know nowadays I cannot date because all men are the same. My sister, who asked you to taste all of them? <laughs> if you're inside here and you've tested me, say I. <laughs> eh, who? <laughs> Ladies say, oh, nowadays you know I cannot be dating because all men are dogs. My sister, not all men are dogs. Some of us are monkeys, look at me. <laughs> When you stop a madam, excuse me, my sister, she's like, oh, you want to eat and run, eh? You want to eat and run like every other person, eh? You want to eat that? My sister, things have changed. In Kenya, as Timafisi, we don't eat and run anymore. We hit. We hit. We hit. We hit and hit and hit until you run. The ugly women are the ones that have the highest attitude in the club. You are in club governor, you're seeing fine babies are seated over there. You want to go and say hi. Hey, give me keja, you get there, you say, excuse me, the ugly one. We are not interested. <laughs> but there are some things that you can never teach anybody. Something like a prayer. I cannot teach you how to pray. Like if we go to Nigeria, when we pray, we command God. God, God, oh, God, I won't come here again, oh. God, why is all being a prosperity and I'm suffering, eh? God, God, oh, they live. The attitude, America, international land. These people have the swag. Everything is correct. These people don't even shout. Because the swag is there and swag demands you have, you be composed. When they enter church, they enter church with swag, you know. When they talk to God, you think God is their brother. Hey, what's up, God? How you doing? <laughs> I just decided to bounce through and holler at your boy. Oh, is that Jesus? Hey, Jesus, my man. I see you, man. How you doing? You guys see Moses? All right, holler at your boy. God, I need some money, huh? Holler at your boy. I'm a bounce. See ya. The slide. Very nice. When you go to Jamaica, when they enter church, even the pastor gets shaking. Because the way they sing, the way they dance is the way they pray. Jamaica people enter church, jalove me, jalove me, jalove me, jalove me. Then they give God condition here. Cha! Rastafari. Cha! Don't let me cheat on my girlfriend. And if me cheat, man, don't let me get caught. And in Jamaica, when they finish praying, they don't say amen. They say, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my time.